Hello everybody! In today's video, I'll show you how to fix a problem with the internet connection, namely DNS server is not responding. DNS server issues are among the most widespread errors related to internet connections. Once such error appears, there is no internet connection, the icon in the system tray becomes like that, and if you open a browser to visit a website, you will see messages like server DNS address could not be found, error name not resolved, and so on. This problem is caused by a failure of the DNS server, which is in charge of redirecting the IP address. In today's video, we will go into what could trigger such an error and how to fix it. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The problem can be caused by your computer, DNS server not running, wrong network settings, and so on, or by the router malfunction or wrong configuration. Your provider's equipment can also cause the trouble. Most modems are configured to receive DNS settings automatically from the provider's servers. Sometimes, provider servers or modems may work too slowly or incorrectly, which results in various internet connection issues. The first thing to do before you start troubleshooting is to restart the computer and the router. With the router, this can be done by unplugging it from the power outlet for about 20 seconds or by pressing the power button, if your device has it, of course. When both devices restart, begin the network diagnostics. You can do it by right-clicking on the network icon in the system tray and selecting the line Troubleshoot Problems. After diagnostics, the network will either start working again, or you will see the error of the DNS server isn't responding. The next step to take is to check if the internet connection works correctly with another device. If your computer receives the connection through the router, check if other recipients working with this router have any network issues or DNS server problems. For example, connect your phone to this network to see if connection can be established and if there are any errors involving DNS server. If the problem is caused by something in your computer, other devices will work properly with the Internet. In case your computer is connected through the router, try establishing an Internet connection directly, without the router. Unplug the network cable from the router and stick it into the network port of your computer instead. Also, it would be useful to remember when exactly the DNS error appeared and what you were doing before internet connection problems began. You may, have cert uh, you may have changed certain settings or installed some software. Before you configure the settings, check if the DNS client service is running. Open the services window. Press the key shortcut Windows plus R and run the command services.msc or look for services in the search field. In the window that opens, find DNS client service, right-click on it and select Properties. The setup type should be automatic. If the Start button is active, click on it. Then click Apply and OK. If the service was stopped and you started it, the Internet connection should be restored as soon as you restart the computer. If your situation is different, Try another solution. The next step is checking DNS server configuration in your network and internet settings. If there are some addresses in the corresponding fields, you can configure the settings to receive addresses automatically or use DNS addresses by Google. This method often helps us to get rid of the error DNS server is not responding. Open Settings, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. Change adapter settings. Right click on your internet connection icon and select properties. 
If your computer receives internet by cable, it should be Ethernet. And if you're on Wi-Fi, it's a wireless network. In the window that opens, select IP version 4 and click Properties. If you have a certain DNS server assigned, check the option for Obtain DNS server address automatically and click OK. Restart the computer and check your internet connection. If you have configured this connection to obtain the address automatically, but there is no internet, using Google addresses may help. Check the option for Use the following DNS server addresses and type the preferred DNS server address 8888 and the alternate DNS server address 8844. Click OK and restart the computer. In most of the cases, this should fix your problem. If you manage to solve the problem on your computer, but other devices are still in trouble and they are connected to the same router, uh, these addresses should be entered into the router as well. In case you're interested, visit our YouTube channel for a good video about configuring a router, and I will link the link below. Open the settings, network, WAN or Internet. Change DNS here and save the settings. If it doesn't help to fix the problem, try cleaning DNS cache and other network settings. Launch the command prompt as administrator and run the following commands one after another to clean the cache and network settings. Run the following commands one by one. In Windows 10, you can do it by resetting the network. Open the router settings, network and internet, status, and find network reset below. Click to reset it now. After that, restart the computer and check the internet connection again. One more cause behind the internet connection problem could be missing network adapter drivers. Although such error is quite rare in this case, it's better to check all possible causes to be on the safe side. So, open the Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start menu. View the list to see if there are any devices with a yellow exclamatory mark next to them. If there are some, it means they need to have a driver installed. You can learn more about downloading and installing a proper driver by watching one of our videos. Follow the link in the description. Right-click on the device. Update driver. One more thing to trigger this error is installation of an antivirus or configuration of the firewall. Also, this is what happens when you set your antivirus to maximum security. Try to disable the antivirus for a while. If the internet connection is restored, then is the antivirus to blame. For example, a vest antivirus often interferes with Windows network settings thus causing various issues with internet connections. For example, your internet connection is down when you uninstall the antivirus, or a DNS error appears, or the network adapter suddenly encounters problems with IP configuration. 
In this case, what you need is to stop the antivirus. If it doesn't solve the problem, uninstall it. An alternative is to reinstall it but without any extra components. Finally, the last step to take is to contact your provider about this issue. If you tried all the methods in this video but the error is still there, contact your internet service providers, tech support and explain your problem in detail. Quite often, DNS issues can be caused by things that only your provider can fix. If your provider insists they have no problems at all, the only way out is to reset your operating system. And there is a special video about it in our channel, check the link below. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.